at UGM. I guess it might have been part of uh, Sarah's original project. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yep. Oh, hello. Welcome to my class, Introduction to Genetics and Evolution. My name is Mohammed Noor, and I'll be your host as we cover these fascinating topics. Now, I wanted to outline a few things for you ahead of time. First, there's no specific background coursework required for taking this class, but the lectures will assume that you are familiar with simple terms like gene, which may be defined only very briefly. Now, since I can't interact with you directly, I encourage you to look things up if you don't understand. You can also talk with some of your fellow students through the discussion forums online to try to understand the material better. But please note, you should not email me or any course teaching assistants for help. While we'd love to be able to help you, there are just too many of you for us to be able to do this, so I will not be able to reply. Now, second, some of you want detailed training and certification from this course, while others just want to learn the general principles and hear about genetics and evolution. As a result, I'll tag the videos with the letter G for ones that I think have mostly general material that may be interesting to a broader audience, and I'll tag others with the letter S for ones that I think have a lot of nitty-gritty specialist details and methods, some of which may be on the test questions that you'll be receiving. Now, some videos may be marked with both letters, but hopefully these will help you decide which videos you'd like to see. Third, there are a lot of general resources online for you besides the video lectures. These are all supplementary and not required for you to use. They are just there for your interest or practice. There will also be a few practice problems that you can try most weeks. Feel free to give them a shot and work with your fellow students on them. Additionally, there will be graded weekly problem sets to complete. I do allow people to work together on these problem sets, so feel free to discuss them amongst yourselves through the discussion forums. However, I encourage you to try these problem sets completely on your own first, rather than just copying what's posted about them. These weekly problem sets and the practice problems are the only practice you'll have for the tests for this class. Now, in contrast to the problems, the tests are not group effort. I respectfully ask that none of you mention or even allude to the test questions in the discussion boards, even after the test. If you mention anything about the test in the discussion board, we will delete your post and unenroll you from the course. I'm sorry about that. Last but not least, there are some recommended textbooks online. Now these again are truly just recommended. You are not required to purchase these texts nor will you be tested on any material from them that was not also presented in lecture. However, they can be useful as supplements, so if you're interested, feel free to get them. So thanks again for joining us, and I really hope you enjoy this class.